Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, today we're going to be talking about quants, and uh, the topic of discussion is going to be uh, ANOVA, which is analysis of variance, right? Uh, for those who don't know, uh, this is what uh, ANOVA is called, analysis of variance. Because at any point of time, you will have, uh, based on different observations, we might be able to come up with, uh, say, a regression, right, which is going to help us predict what is going to be the future value. Uh, so it, we, what you're trying to say is the regression that we have, can it really explain what the future is going to be? Of course, the lower the variance, the better, because then the more we can use this regression to go and actually predict uh, the future value, right? Because uh, we talk about uh, the reason we are really doing this is if you want to go and predict some kind of equity valuation in the future, uh, we need to have some kind of a basis of uh, some kind of a equation that we can go and predict what is going to be the future. So that's what this topic really is all about. So when you talk about analysis of variance, uh, we are looking at y-axis, we are looking at x-axis. A uh, few key things that we'll be talking about on here is going to be y-hat. So think about it as uh, you need to put on a hat to go and predict the future, right? And then there's going to be y-bar, which is going to be the average or so-called the mean, right? Uh, and then there's going to be y i, uh, which is the ac the actual observed value, because then once we have an observ once we have a regression, then we can go and say, hey, you know what? Can we actually go and predict the actual value? How much predictability can we actually do? So when you take a look at this graph, uh, what's going to be looking at is going to look like this, where this is going to be the y hat, which is the actual uh, the predicted val the the predicted value. Uh, then there's going to be a bar which is going to be the average, and then there's going to be uh, an actual predicted value that we observe. Right, so think about it as this is the actual uh, the equation that we able to form. Maybe this is a sales number and so on, and we try to predict what is the value going to be. Uh, this is the average sales price, and hey, you know what? We're going to try to go and find out uh, can we go and actually predict what is the future sales value is going to be. Now, if you take a look at this particular y. Uh, it's kind of broken down into two, right? Uh, so there is a portion of it which is going to be uh, called regression sum of squares, which is the regression that we have actually explains the y, the actual value. And then there's going to be SSE, which is sum of square errors, which is uh, something which we cannot explain. So of course, when you talk about um, the RSS and SSE, we want RSS to be high because then we can actually go predict future versus SSE, which is error, right? So if you have more errors, then how can you really predict the future if you have so much errors? So when we talk about uh, total sum of squares, RSS plus SSE, so let me just, so it's called total sum of squares, and then you have regression sum of squares, and then you have sum of squared errors. Now think about it. What you're really trying to find is square. So we're not really concerned in terms of is the value gonna be positive or negative. Uh, what you're really trying to find out is what is really the actual variation. We are trying to find out an actual number, right? How much the variation really is gonna be. Let's try to break it down into future stuff on here. Uh, let's go and create, discard this, discard. Uh, so when we talk about, say, ANOVA table, right? So what do you think is really going to be on the ANOVA table? So when you talk about ANOVA table, any ANOVA table on here is going to have uh, a source of variance, right? So we talked about the two variants, the two stuff which talks about source of variance. Uh, we talked about the regression, which is the actual equation that we have. And then there's going to be an error, right? There is some portion which we really cannot explain. Uh, and next is going to be the amount of variation, right? So as I mentioned, we're not really concerned about uh, in terms of what is it is a positive number or a negative number. What you're really concerned about is uh, the sum of squares. So when you talk about the regression square and the error is going to be y minus is a squared value, right? So we're not really concerned about positive and negative. Uh, then we talk about degrees of freedom. 
right? So for this one, the regression that we have, we are talking about uh, one, a linear regression. So in that case, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be K, uh, an error, of course, is gonna be N minus K plus one. Uh, we talk about mean, which is generally uh, the sum of squares divided by degrees of freedom, right? So in this situation, it's gonna be Yi minus Y bar square over K, and this one is gonna be Y minus Yi square N minus K plus one. So to, for those who are trying to figure out, hey, why is this yi and y bar and what not? Think about it, the chart that we made previously, right? Y, X, this is Y, this is Y bar, right? So what we're trying to say is this is the value. So when you talk about uh, the two values, which is RSS, is what? The predicted value or the regression that we have minus y hat square. This is what we have over here, right? And then we have sum of squared errors, which is what? Uh, the observed value minus the predicted value. And we do a square, right? So that's where we get all of these numbers. Uh, other topic that I really wanna talk about uh, at this present time, uh, is gonna be in terms of uh, what is the data that we're using, right? So the data that we get from uh, ANOVA table. Uh, so what we really get is R square, right? Uh, RSS over TSS. So what is RSS? RSS is coefficient of determination. Right? Now, of course, the higher the R square, the better, right? Which means that, you know what, the regression, the, the regression line that we have, or the regression equa equation that we have, it can actually go and predict the future, right? A lower R square is what we don't want, because I mean, if uh, a lower R square, which means uh, RSS is very low, then how good really the equation is really gonna be, right? It's, if it's a whole bunch of errors, we don't really want errors. So that's one topic you talk about. Uh, then you talk about uh, SSSEE, which is uh, so-called standard error estimate, right? Uh, so what's standard error estimate? Standard estimate is nothing but sum of squared errors and you do a half, right? This is sum of squared, this is squared errors and then you do under rooted, you get standard error estimate. And the third thing we talk, we're gonna talk about it over here is so-called F-STAT, uh, which is marginal sum of squared errors divided by marginal sum of square, sorry, marginal sum of squared regression over errors, right? So of course you want a higher F-STAT. Now why you want a higher F-STAT is of course you want to have a higher numerator. The higher the numerator is, which means higher the F-STAT is, hence we get a higher uh, predictability of the future. The other thing we really want to talk about uh, concerning the ANOVA table also is going to be in terms of, let's say, you know what? Uh, let's say we have two charts, right? So we have two Y and X, Y and X. Uh, so let's say, you know what? We have, we have two regressions that we have. And now based on the observations uh, in the marketplace, maybe the observations are like these versus uh, something is like this. Now, which one do you think is gonna be better? So this is A and this is B. So just by looking at this, if you look at A and B, uh, of course, A is gonna be better. Why? Now, why is A gonna be better? The reason being is, uh, if you see the error terms, right, uh, it's not that much, right? So which means uh, this one is gonna have a high R square, which means the line that of prediction that we have actually is able to predict the observations verse B, where you know what, the stand errors are pretty high, right? If there's high error terms, so this is better, this is worse, uh, this is gonna have a low R square, 
uh, a high R square generally also means it will have a high F stat, right? Because F stat is what? F stat is, or so high the R square, higher the square, sum of squared errors, higher the F stat. Uh, if errors are higher, if errors are higher, uh, then of course we do we are not able to predict anything. Hence, F stat is going to be low. So that's it, guys. So that's talking about uh, the ANOVA table. Uh, hopefully, you have any uh, clarifies what it is. If you have any questions, uh, do let me know down in the video. If you do like the video, do like and subscribe. Have a good one.